What are the components of better extraction harvesting? Graft quality, minimal scarring, the ability to reach every follicle in the safe donor area, the ability to effectuate follicle selection, partial transaction, and final donor homogenization. The patient is in a sitting position and the surgeon is either standing or in a sitting position. The surgeon holds the punch and forceps in both hands at the same time. The non-dominant hand penetrates by punch under the control of the pointing dominant hand. The first penetration is perpendicular to the skin surface in order to obtain a clear circular cut by an axial pushing force and some circular rotation. After passing through the epidermis, the position of the punch is adjusted according to the follicle direction. The dominant forceps hand, one graft at a time in rapid sequence, accomplishes sequential harvesting. This is to provide an opportunity to control the transaction and graft quality each time and to adapt the punch size to the changing diameters and directions. Why is the patient in a sitting position? Because the original single follicles relating to the front line are predominantly located in the temporal zones. Also, because in a sitting position and by utilizing a smaller punch size, the punch direction can be adapted according to the angle of the follicle. This allows both the patient and the physician better comfort than in other positions. In the synchronized video, it is evident that the follicles are sometimes at different angles. The sitting position enables the physician to adapt and better pinpoint the graft more quickly. In a sitting position, the physician can access the long-haired donor photos during extraction to effectuate a better harvesting plan, while another physician can simultaneously perform extraction on the opposite side. Why is the first penetration perpendicular to the skin surface? Attempts are being made by all to minimize punch diameters without damaging graft quality, thus creating smaller scars in the donor area. If penetrations occur at a perpendicular angle to the skin surface, the smallest perfect circular cut is obtained with the boundaries of the punch size used. Angle changes anchor and elliptical scar. As you can see in the animation, according to your penetration angle, you will get a bigger scar than a circle. This is not exactly an elliptical shape, but to make calculations easier, we can accept it as an ellipse. If you use the known formula with a 60 degree angle, we will get a 1.15 times larger scar. With a 45 degree angle, 1.4, and with a 30 degree angle, we will get a 2 times larger scar. In fact, because of the increases in the wound, when planted, we will get bigger scars than an elliptical shape. Consequently, an acute angle minimizes the patient's scarring. Why sequential extraction? Because every follicle has a different direction by the actual location of the donor. Additionally, the follicle becomes closer to the skin surface in a vertical direction from top downwards. If the transaction rate or graft quality is to be properly controlled, then the best method to accomplish this is to check each and every graft after each penetration.
This is transaction. Let's see what happens. Once a transaction has been established, the penetration angle of the punch can be adapted easily. In these videos, we see the sequential method underway. As extractions are performed, surgical technicians are checking graft quality and are counting hairs per graft under a loop. With the assistance of the graft calculator, surgical data is inserted by an automated voice system and is then mirrored on the large screen. With this system, the surgeon is able to match the targeted hypergraft average with real-time data. Adjustments can then be made. If the real-time data shows a higher number of hair per graft average than the targeted average, the surgeon now lowers the rate by using a smaller punch or targeting less follicles. The smaller punch will help to create splitting and partial transaction. In this part of the video, as each graft is extracted one by one, it's also clear to see the circular cuts previously mentioned. Notice how the first penetration through the skin epidermis occurs at a perpendicular angle to the skin surface and then how the angle changes as the punch is gently rotated. Care is given to each follicle during and after the extraction to avoid damage. This is splitting. And this is partial transaction. Additionally, as you can see in the video, sequential method allows the surgeon to adjust the angle of penetration and punch direction. This is especially important as follicle directions typically change from the top of the scalp downwards. Notice how the punch angle changes as extractions are made. In this way, we are adapting our angles to the hair natural growth patterns. I also use pre-made incisions with sapphire blades with a width of 1 mm and depth of 5 mm. The grafts are then carefully and gently placed using the keep. This is no touch technique and is quicker, more efficient and causes less damage to the follicle. 